Go for Bieri and might as well have been a triple there. Bonacy is in a lot of trouble. He no scopes one of them. He keeps going. Ten seconds. He fakes the bomb, oh. spins around, takes down Woody, and now he's on the hunt, running up close and personal. Oh, no. what a flick! Get he it. doesn't have the time for the Surely. Uh, no, he Just can't give do it. To it him. I think. Oh, yes! How is that possible? What an absolutely godlike sequence from Monacy. And he is one bullet away from legend here. Trapped in the back corner. He doesn't have to move so much now. There is a Molotov on Turtle. He's going to throw it. It's not deep enough. Monacy still could have the shot. Oh, and there it is. One of the best clutches we've seen. In Skins Monkey is an instant CSGO skin trading site, which offers one of the lowest commissions out there. It has a clean interface and plenty of skins to trade for. Skins Monkey is offering you two types of bonuses. First one is a 25% real money deposit bonus. For example, if you deposit $25, you get free $6.25, which is almost basically a free McDonald's or Mac 10 Neon Rider, whichever you like. And the second one is a first trade bonus. When using the, my code Scooby, you get 5% cashback. So basically, if you trade a skin that costs 100, you get free $5. Keep in mind that this bonus only is applied once. So what are you waiting for? Choose a skin that you don't like for a skin you do like. Accept some offers on confirm on your mobile device and shablam, you have your skin. So head out to Skins Monkey and use code Scooby for some extra bonuses. Stay predictable. He sees the flashes coming over. Does he know though? They've boosted on the left side. Shox is already in. Good shot off the blind kill. Jax is going to help out killing that first player. And Monacy won't let them get space. Won't let them get a plant. He's here to dance in the site. Four on two. Make that one. And Naf is late. As is the case every single round. Monacy shuts him down. Four frags from the AWP. And they're getting hyped. Yeah, dude. No, this is scary, right? This isn't... Oh, with nothing else. Gonna have to have a pop-off moment from someone. Shox could be that man. They run right by him. Alij gets the first. Now they know Shox is here. They can spam him out and keep the pressure on. He's got no room to move right now. And so Naf comes in for support. They run him down and Shox will fall. But Naf has picked up the pieces. Big hold on the B site right now and a two on two. Honestly, trying to cross back in. Double D hits the head. Nitro playing the bomb. Does he know it's right beside him? They have to chase him. Oh. Deagle does do some damage, but he's on five health, and it's a double peak for G2 to close. 12 to 6, double that of Liquid. And it's a full eco. At this point in the game, Liquid are relying on one gun nice. round. Safe coming back through short, but Nico on the bicycle. Peek up over the pit, luckily, to retain his life. Drop has taken out Jax, and they're just trying to hold back the AWP of safe here. Nico's Deagle goes again, but this time falls, and it's all on Monacy. Can he close it? His teammates have set him up, and Monacy to close. G2, they do it with their low buy. They do it with the pistols, and that's the back of Furia Shadow. Man, and the scout can move quickly. He can take the peaks. He's tagged down to 34 as he looks again toward the green position, the top of the bags. He gets config through it. He's going to rotate. He's going to try and change this up on Blame F. No, he's not. Falls back, fakes away, doesn't want utility thrown his way. He's got one HP. One HP to try and take down Blame F, who's sneaking out knowing the angle spotted oh. up, and he's absolutely nailed it. So much damage on the scout. He might have been better off with the AWP, but why not 10 shots instead of five to win the round? Lexi B's position, this is perfect. Two shots from the Deeg, and the third is what makes the difference. Your Kinder clears him, and it's a battle oh. for him and Monacy. 10 seconds, bombs planted. Oh! for G2. And here we go again. Look at this, 10 seconds left, has to plan. Oh! Right through the box. Denies 15 for BP. Gets away from it. Both of the oppers going hunting for this player locked in, but I mean, Yakinder, is he gonna get support? We've got Kicker also deep with flashbangs. Oh, but he goes for the dry peak. Honestly, he's gonna punish that every day of the week. And all the while, we still have Nico postured on his off as well. <gasps> what is this kid made of? Jack's gonna look to go on the offense, maybe. I mean, he is entirely surrounded, but he also has tons of support. With all these G2 pieces on this A site, you would think it is enough. And of course, Monacy, with his 40th kill of this map, is now missing shots. He's under pressure. And he's wounded as well. It's only fifth. And he hits it, taking off, leaps and bounds above his teammates. The dry peat made easy, this kicker punish, done.
And then all of a sudden he's over towards Ticket. You can't avoid him. A shoulder peek from Jane. And what's crazy enough, Chad, is that in every one of those moments, like the palace. 2v5 between Alexi and Monacy. Monacy. He's waiting for his chance to strike as Alexi alleviates a little bit of pressure from G2 and Molly. puts it onto Jane. A two versus five turned into the 2v2. Oh, like this. No way! It's only Flit left over. Oh, oh, what? That is ridiculous! This kid white hot, the supernova of G2 as they take down VP on Mirage. Shot, Monacy again. He's not alone in this position. He could be. Just leave him there. He just, this kid doesn't need a babysitter. Well, that one's actually this way. Or going their way. Not done yet, Jason. All right. Gonna keep adding some stats to this. <laughs> bit as well, closing out the round. Another multi at four in this round. For him, he tops the chart. Actually, ties with Hunter now. At they have the sight by which Alexi had vacated. If Monty's can hit this shot, that would be incredible. That would be everything. Oh, just an arrow miss. But he knows where they're headed. Bit holding on, and he's got Hunter. How much does Monacy want to dedicate his life to this bomb site? Monacy on catwalk finds the timing. Eight seconds. If he can drop the bomb, it'd be everything. But it travels into the site. One on two for Monacy now. It's sacrificial. Gives his position away. He wants Monacy's end goal. Put this in slow-mo. Oh. A rousing chant from the crowd, and why not? Shots, though, from the Deagle inside of the smoke. Don't land. Kerrigan will. He'll take Jax, put him low enough that the Deagle can do damage, and JKS already has Hunter. It's starting to come alive now for FaZe. There are incredible round two results in this entire tournament, and it's not going to yield now. Bomb gets planted, however, and the weapons start to work. Monacy, he turns it around, and he'll close out the round three in total, and JKS falls last. Sweet Jesus. Take a deep breath. That was way too close. That round felt like they played it scared, but Monacy is going to deliver once again. Monacy again gonna go out. He's got the angle, finds the one first. I'm surprised no swing, no response from Kerrigan. He might be fast, but the weapon still only reloads fast enough. There's why you don't want to go late. Kerrigan gets taken down once again by the young man who has been a master on this stage so far. Monacy is unrelenting. He's gonna hold the entire mid wall himself. Yeah, this has been full. Oh, get out.